Hi, my name's Gail Berry. I'm an international expert on baby massage and baby yoga. I'm a mum of three and I have had the great privilege and pleasure to mentor and support thousands of mothers around the world into their mothering journey. And I'm so glad that you found me here today. You are so welcome. And what I want to talk about today is this kind of myth or idea we have about being a perfect mother. Because self-judgment and comparison and self-doubt and self-talk, negative self-talk, really are very damaging to our energy levels, uh, how we feel about ourselves, our relationships with others. And the only way to overcome that is by becoming conscious and aware of the stories and the meaning that we're attaching to our lives. So I want to shake it up a little bit and share with you my experience of being a mother and mentoring and helping so many mothers around the world. And the main message I want to tell you is that there is no such thing as a perfect parent. I mean, we're all perfect because we are all one of magic, miracle manifestation of consciousness that will never be here again. So we are all perfect in our imperfect way. But in terms of getting parenting right or mothering right or um, making sure that we're ticking all the boxes because then our children will be happy, that is completely uh, unachievable because it is impossible to guarantee or control if anyone in your life will be happy as a result of your actions it is literally impossible and when we actually start to feel this and understand this that we can't control how anybody reacts or responds to anything that we do the only thing we can ever control in life is our our own feelings our own emotions our own source of joy and happiness and when we fully embrace that and allow ourselves to receive all of the things that we need from ourselves and realize that happiness is always within us rather than outside of us that is pure power and freedom and what that does as a mother is it gives you so much more time and space and capacity for yourself, which means that you have so much more time and space and capacity for your babies and your children. Because that is what your children want from you. They don't want anything other than you to hold a space for them to grow and develop and to be exactly as they are. Anything other than that is controlling their destiny and trying to influence their unique path in life and when we do that we can create all kinds of resentments judgments bitterness so it's really hard to trust that if you parent just from a place of love and purely witness and observe your baby and your child exactly as they are that everything is gonna be okay because everything inside of us is telling us if we do this then this will happen if we follow this path then this will happen well it's simply just not the case there is nothing in life that I can think of that is absolutely 100% guaranteed to happen in exactly the same way uh, at exactly the same time over and over again it is the chaos of life which creates the magic and the possibilities it's the chaos of life that created your baby and your child within you two worlds colliding between you and your partner that created your baby when we surrender to this and let go amazing things can happen and the more we grip as parents the more we grip as mothers and try to control the more resistance comes up between you and your baby and then that is mirrored back to you because then you have resistance to them and rather than co-creating and being together you start to come into battle with your baby and your child and that's when we disrupt the natural flow of love so the message here really for you today is that you are a perfectly imperfect parent and that your baby came here to teach you many many things about yourself babies are incredible mirrors they are pure energy and you can see yourself reflected into them so every time you have a reaction to your baby there's something inside of you that needs your attention it's not about giving your baby your attention all the time it's about giving you the attention so if your if your baby is frustrating you because they're not sleeping through the night or doing this or doing that where are you holding frustration where are you frustrated with yourself 
where have you been frustrated in the past or where are people frustrating you? Because your baby is simply living, breathing, experiencing the world. Babies are non-judgmental. They don't, um, they're fully accepting. They live in the moment. They're honest. They communicate their needs. No baby in the first two years comes down to this planet with an agenda to manipulate or control you or to get what they want over you. And this is such an old narrative that has been hanging around in the sort of 70s and the 80s when we were here to baby train and make babies compliant. This is so not based on neuroscience. This is so not based on love, on heart, on spiritual practices, anything. You know, it's literally about controlling and training babies. So let's really step away from that. <laughs> Unless you want to be controlled by this relationship with your baby, the greatest thing you can do is just be free. Be free to be you. Let your baby to be free. Know that all things shall pass. Know that we're all going through different processes. And know that it's okay to feel all of the emotions. Like you don't need to bypass them. You just need to feel them and to love yourself for them and, and take them inside of you and learn from them. Yeah, like this is why for me becoming a mother was one of the greatest activators for me because it actually healed my heart from some deep wounds that I had in my life because I saw how my babies unconditionally loved me how they just accepted me for exactly who I was, how they wanted to play with me, how they wanted to sleep with me, have experiences with me, create with me. And all of that actually awoke inside of me, that part of me that had been dead and dormant. So my children are my soulmates. They are, they're my angel team that came down to help me. Now, they also taught me a lot of things about my capacity to be patient, my capacity to ask for help, my capacity to feel supported, my capacity to um, feel my emotions, share them with my children and then let them go and not sit in judgment and resentment and bitterness. So all of those things have come from my beautiful relationship with my babies and children. And, you know, it was not a linear path. I had three children under three and a half. I was pregnant every year for five years. I was breastfeeding in every year for five years. So, you know, it wasn't, I didn't have a lot of support and help. I had some from my family and friends. I was lucky. A lot of people don't have that. But, you know, I had, I was working like three jobs. Um, things were not easy at the beginning. My husband was not around at all. He was at work from eight till eight. So, you know, there was a lot of learning to happen, but it was all beautiful. It was all beautiful. And I was very present with it all. So the invitation to you is to be present with what is arising, to let go of expectation or what you think the mothering should be, to stop the comparison, to stop the judgment, to trust your baby, trust your children, trust that for whatever reason your paths have crossed. This is a new person that's come into your life, just like a new friend or a new partner or a new job or a new experience. It's a new experience to learn from together, not something to want to control or mold or that's going to define you because you know one day your children are going to grow up so keep your authenticity keep who you are keep being perfectly imperfect bless the experience bless your children accept it with grit and all the grit and all the grace and you know remember that it is a privilege a responsibility uh, a joy and a growth experience to be a parent, one of the biggest ones in the world. So if you're finding it challenging, it's because you're getting out of your comfort zone and you're growing. So I hope this helped you today. If you want to find out more about the work we do, my name's Gail Berry. Um, my website is blossomandberry.com. I teach people to teach love and nurturing care to parents and babies around the world through my baby massage and baby yoga training. I also mentor mothers, uh, create lots of amazing resources to help new parents. We have our Tree Babies Wild Wellbeing courses. So if this resonates with you and you want to teach or share more of this, then get in touch, blossomandberry.com. 
bookmark this if you need to listen to it again, subscribe to our channel, tag and share with a new parent that might want to hear this. Let's keep connected. If you want to have a chat, book a call. And uh, I'm sending you so much love today. And I really see you as a parent. And remember to love yourself uh, because love creates love. <laughs>